my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where today we are trying out some more brilliant shenanigans, but this time working on planeswalkers. What do I mean? Brilliant Restoration allows us to return all artifacts and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. But wait, Jedi, there's no planeswalkers in there. Well, we're running some other jank. We are trying Encroaching Mycosynth, which is an artifact that makes all non-land permanents you control are artifacts in addition to the other types. This is sa The same is true for permanent spells you control and non-land permanents you own that aren't on the battlefield, i.e. our library and graveyard. So what we are hoping to do is the same synergy we've seen before, where we're going to maximize City on Fire and all will be one, putting a bunch of counters on permanents thanks to Brilliant Restoration, and blowing our opponent up. Well, the thing is, we are running enchantments, right? And we've done a little bit with artifacts, not really with all be one just do recurring artifacts. So this time we're trying it with that added little spice of my good Sith to see if we can get it to pop off with Planeswalkers. Now, I will admit that is a very hefty combo, but my theory behind this is the fact that we can just straight up play our Planeswalkers and we're perfectly happy with that because they're going to generate some value. Our opponent's going to try to target them and kill them, put them in the graveyard for us. Then later on, we can bring them all back. Truth be told, it is a bit clunky, but it is jank for a reason. The four cost do nothing does take a toll on our curve when we're behind because as you can see, we're not really running too much. But hey, sometimes I have to struggle so you guys don't have to running six board wipes to help us stabilize right uh i did have a, and, and maybe in some of the games you're gonna see a couple other one of planeswalkers like a chandra and the big elspeth i had as potential board wipes but they're just they were just too far up in the curve and a little too clunky um you can even do away with some of these one of planeswalkers but maybe put in more wandering emperors right the ones that kind of have removal spells attached to them but i wanted to make sure we had the ability to capitalize on getting as many planeswalkers back as possible and so that's why we're running a bunch of one ofs to recur right and hey it makes the games a little bit different we're running a faithful mending modern age as our filter spells right to pitch all be one and city on fire and maybe the planeswalkers that aren't good at that moment and then finally an ossification as pinpoint removal so that's the list my friends i hope you guys enjoy it shout out for this video it goes out to bradley burlock Bradley, thank you, my friend, for riding the struggle bus with us. I really appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy the jank because this brilliant Planeswalker list is for you, my friend. All right, this hand looks horrible on the surface, but we have Modern Age to discard these two into cards we want to play. We have Double Sunfall when we get there. We're going first, so we're going to keep this one. Could blow up in our face, but we'll see. I mean, when you ride the jank... High risk, high reward, my friend. High risk, high reward. Let's see if we can make the shenanigans a happen, right? Opponent contemplating their opening hand. Yeah, we'll just pitch both of these, draw new cards, and then we'll have a blocker. Feels pretty good. Lead off with the beach. If we didn't have the modern age to cycle these, then I would be a little concerned. But as is, kind of like where we're at here. All right. Pitch the other modern age. Or city on fire, rather. Okay. So easy enough. Easy enough. Nice. Look at that. Paying dividends already. All right. Let's go again. Pitch all be one. Filling up the graveyard. Opponent has some kind of interaction. Could be anything. Uh, destroy evil, maybe? Oh, they, they're tokens. Right? That's what it is. They're tokens. That makes so much more sense now. Oh, maybe not tokens. So it is destroy evil. Hmm. Destroy evil. March. They could have March, right? Some type of Selesnia. Oh, they're enchantments. Okay. Let's get that to flip. 
and then depopulate. Depopulate. Interesting. Interesting. So they're going to have an answer here. So let's discard the depopulate. Go here. Send it back. I don't want to Ottawara. If they make a copy, we have Sunfall. Like, this draws us more cards. This kind of is a good way to get rid of things permanently. Right? And depending on how they play, we may just let Calyx... We either... So here's the thing, right? They don't have anything to copy with Calyx right now. So either I have to spend their mana to play something, right? And we're kind of okay with just about everything they play. I think the only thing that we would not like is Hallowed Haunting, but we have a block then. Okay. So that's a little awkward. So I guess we just double chump, 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 play Teferi, right? And I'll let them copy that. Because, I mean, really, it's just there to buy us some time. Let's go here. The entire multiverse is at stake. And we'll just draw. There is much the past can teach us. This sets us up. It's a little risky, actually. But I'm planning on sun falling. So we'll see. Enchantment gets bigger. Okay. So here they're in a good position because they have plenty of things to copy. So they could play something like an ossification or an O ring here to get rid of our glider and get in. But then they also, that also means they leave Teferi alive. So they're kind of in a bit of a predicament, but mainly us. I'd like to buy us one more turn so we can grab this. Oh man, this is good. This is fantastic for us. Oh yeah. All right. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Sunfall, minus, play a land, make a dude. I think here we minus, and then play a land. Nobody knows the past better right? Than me. Keep our Sunfall. And then we have a good block for Architect, and we can just keep drawing with Teferi. I mean, it's looking pretty decent for us right now. Let's see if they have an answer. I feel like they would have O-ringed if they had one. Right? Or they were waiting for the double whammy with the Weaver, right? They wanted to get a little greedy. Okay, that doesn't do anything. This ends today. Thank you for your help. Ooh. This is really tempting. Really tempting. Because of the Sahili. Oh, we can't play her. But we do have Faithful Mending, which can... Ooh. Alright, let's do that. Let's go here. Another mystery song. And then... Attack their Planeswalker. And then we could pitch. We'll see what we draw, but we could pitch Sahili, make this a six. So if they, even if they block with both, we can kill both, which would be fantastic. We already plussed, so we don't make it. We don't get to make another dude. But if they just solo block, excellent. I am happy with this. Let's pitch Sahili and Faithful Mending. Puts two counters on both of our planeswalker or our planeswalker and our guy. Boom. And then. Now they could bounce. They could zero, right? 
So that is a thing, but he's not going to do anything to either of our planeswalkers right now. So we're just going to plus him. I am more than human. You don't uh, my next breakthrough is close. Um, man, I really don't want to discard this. So decline. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. Pitch here. Keep our land. And I'm going to hold the land. So now we're in one-shot territory, right? Opponent's got good targets, but if they let their guard down, what we could do is Sunfall, then use Teferi to minus here and kill their Wanderer. So let's see if they bounce the Architect or not. They can also bounce our Spirit, right? They have some options. Yep. I bought us some time. This has Vigilance, so they get that hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, really? Nice opponent. Nice. So we actually have enough. No, I guess if they hit us, we can't take another turn. Which is a little frustrating. Like a scotch. Like I have even vigilance is a little annoying. Okay, so tether it down, right? Fair. Tether it down. Once again, though, we're a combo deck. We're really not too worried. Save well. your little victory while it lasts. Okay. Shoot, we could just take another turn, can't we? Choose uh, target opponent chooses a permanent they control and returns it to the, its owner's hand. They shuffle each non-land permanent they control. Okay, so let's do this. Right, we have two things we can pitch. Boom, pitch here and here. Gets to ferry to ultimate range. Play a land. Play Mycosynth Lattice, or Accroaching. Ultimate to Fairy. Target opponent chooses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand. Then they shuffle each non-land permanent they control into their owner's library. Okay. I don't know about so we you, untap, I'm about to fire off the other Mending. So let's see what they keep on the board, right? Depending on what they do, we could potentially... No, I guess we would have needed to make a dude to attack the, the Wanderer down. Wait. Oh, I thought we took another turn. That was my bad. I thought we took another turn. And we all leave with our lives. So they zero. We attack. I brought back. Play Machiko. Alright. That is good enough for me to wipe the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um let's let me think for seven. One, two, three, four, five, and then we don't have enough to play this. We could here pitch that. Let's go here. And then I think we just draw. There is much the past can teach. And then we can go here. Don't think we necessarily care. I think we just faithful men now. We're just looking for our brilliant. Did we bottom one? We did not. Yeah, I think we're just going to Faithful Men pitching these two. Looking for our uh, Brilliant. Because once we get Brilliant, we win. 
We don't necessarily care about what Wanderer is doing. Because literally we have City on Fires, we have uh, All Be One, and we have plenty of Planeswalkers to trigger a ton of counters. So... We know they have plenty of lands. Two of the cards in their hand are... Okay. That's that's a thing. That is a thing. So, to ferry down... Next turn, though. We're still at a healthy 25. Or 20. Yep. Thank you for your help. Let's go here. Ooh, ossification is great. Pitch our two lands. We don't need those anymore. Trigger two more. Another land. Let's draw another card. I am here to Alright. So we can kill. We can stop both planeswalkers. And this is artifacts and creatures, right? Yes. So let's go here. Minus three. Kill this and dude. Fight and then the play this dude. Targeting a planes. Eat that. And then since we have nothing else to do with our mana. Activate. And let's target that. Come on. We're just going to keep drawing with Teferi. We're going to hit our Brilliant and we're going to win. It's the only thing about this deck is that because we're kind of chocked full of like Mike of Sith doesn't do anything and brilliant like it, it, it it's like the fun and the bad they also got rid of our Tezzeret right Tezzeret would have allowed us to dig through our deck fairly quickly oh, it's, all right so this guy's on chump block duty Oh, nice. All right. Draw. Now that is an interesting fact. Let's go. Do we have enough? We do. Let's. I've already read your minus. Do we draw? I will clear your mind. Of course, it's just a land. Fizzle sticks. Never forget the home we lost. Uh, we have a chump block. I'm gonna wait. Play our land. I'm gonna wait. We have a chump block. There's no reason to get like a one for one here. At least let them zero. We <laughs> we got the restoration. I feel bad. But the problem is, is that we don't have a way to pressure wander, and wander is a straight counter to our to fairy. So, we're going to hang out. Do we not have... An, we have 19 cards and it's 20. So, at least we draw two cards next turn. Okay. Keep your eyes shut. So, they haven't played an O-Ring, have they? Oh, man. Look at that. Ah, uh, they get to draw off of that. So, I guess that's a bit of a bummer. But, I'll take it. There's no way for us to get that extra point of damage to get the Emperor off. I mean, that's mainly why they probably haven't conceded, but I mean, once again, activate here. You get to draw, you get to gain five life, but it's not going to matter because we're going to do a preposterous amount of damage to you. All right. Uh... Well, let's do this because now we get to actually we'll get to pop this again. No Chandra. Escapes my grasp. Okay. Uh I think that's gonna do it for us. So here. Do you do it in the right order? That works. Then play all will be one. Plus, we have the high ground. Grab a land, and then faithful mending. That puts two more counters. Pitch the land. Uh, no, we want to keep that. Pitch these two. 
two counters. One here and one here. Okay. Uh, oh, we still haven't done his thing, have we? Um, sure. I think now we can minus. All right. Well, our one of Teferi is going to get us there. I feel, I hope this is, man, this may be a short video. Sorry, guys. We never drew our brilliance. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> Told you, they were holding on because of the Emperor. That's exactly why. All right, we get to go first, and we have plenty of interaction. Let's keep this. Lead off with the beach. That way we can Faithful Mend if we have to, but I think we're just going to Jace. Try to get Jace down as early as possible, buy us some time, right? Hold the Mending until we really need it. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Mono black. Well, at least they're not going to have a way of dealing with our Mica Sith. They'll just... Oh, Esper. Okay. Seems good. All right. Oh, nice. Let's go here so we mitigate some of the damage. For the sake of fire and then if they play a Rafine here, then we will 100% wipe the board. Fair. Fire another one off. And they're missing land drops. They have another edict. They have another edict. Seems fair. All right, let's play our land, play Mycosynth, and hold. You got it, buddy. I mean, they still had plays. They still had plays, so let's see what we draw here. Emperor, fantastic. Send it back. So let's see if they go for the level or not. Celeste to see they're in good shape now. Got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Finally, I'm home. Am I gonna get punished? Okay. Nice. Alright. Play full price for Jace. We will draw. I know. Hit her land. We're gonna plus to keep her alive. And one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Play our land, send it back. Wanna keep both of these, so I think we're just gonna mill. Keep the mending for when we have to, I would think. So mono black with a splash. Okay, that doesn't kill us, so we like that. Okay. We'll mill ourselves again. Another mending, another depopulate. Things are looking pretty good. Play the Elspeth. Plus. Plus. And now we can activate our other Faithful Mending. So how many Planeswalkers we have? One, two. Really, yeah. I mean, we'll take the bigger one over the smaller Jace. We can mill ourselves for one if we want to. So, interesting. Shouldered. Okay. Draw. We already have one of those, so we're good there. So... Let's gain some life and then do the same thing. So negate their attack. And we have enough board wipes where I don't mind wiping the board. And it makes their arena worse as well. So here's the cut down they were sandbagging. Right? They have a choice. They have a choice. 
Sounds good. So I wonder... Okay, let's depopulate. I want to hold the Sunfall for something like maybe Underdog. All right, let's plus, let's minus, and we'll plus. And then we'll kill him next turn. Mr. Landrop, I mean, there's a chance we have one card we want to discard, but really I want to discard other Planeswalkers. So, let's see. We can minus Elspeth. That's a good one. And we've lost two of our ossifications. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's discard our mending. We all have things we'd rather forget. Land. So we can kill Liliana. I don't hate that, honestly. We can also draw two if we want. Can we draw yet? Not yet. So let's... Okay, minus... Let's draw. I will. I know where to find all wow. Wow we. Okay, let's minus two here. Kill here. This isn't and then D populate again. And minus. And we'll play a land so we can fire off one of these mendings. So let's see. One. Two planeswalkers we can get so far. And nothing. None of our gas. Fair. So hopefully for... Oh, hopefully we get lucky and they play both of those next turn. Edict. Each opponent sacrifice the Planeswalker. Roger that. Sack this one. And then let's go here. There we go. Now we're cooking. Let's go here and here. Keep the modern age. Another land. Not great. Let's go here. Make a dude. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have enough. So let's go here. Oh, wow. The flood is real. And we'll hold our two lands for our mending. They're keeping up with us on lands. All right, so they, hopefully they have a land, or draw, card draw, I'm sorry. 39 to 28. We've seen more cards than they have. All right. Come on. Play. Play shouldered. You know you want to. Okay. Smart. Smart. Let's see if we can kill them. The goal is to kill them. City on fire and a planes. We already have an Emperor in the Graveyard. Let's go here. And they can make it indestructible, right? So let's make them use it, shall we? Does this allow us? Yes. And then one, two, one, two, three, four. And then we have to play a land. Let's go here. Let's depopulate. Of no, they didn't want to do the thing. Okay. Ready, arms. All 
right. It's getting a little scary. So good on them. Sounds good. So that negates that life loss. Okay. What do they get? Okay, so can we kill that? Plus, minus, plus. We can kill Varaska. So let's kill Varaska. Plus here. Ossification, fantastic. Here. Here. We've got the edge in this fight. Kill her. Play this on a mountain. All right, and then hold. I mean, we have this game in the bag. Now we're just waiting on our brilliant. Once we draw our brilliant, we're sitting pretty. Uh, we will go ahead and lose our glider. Oh, yes. All right, go to combat. Gain some life. Wipe the board. And then plus and minus. And hold this in case we need to discard. We have a 3-3 that can come at them. We can jump. I think we're just going to send... Can we kill them? I think we can kill them, actually. Minus five. Uh, okay. It's tapped though. Okay. So are they just dead here? We can go with vigilance. Three, four, five, six. We're one shy. Oh, but then they draw and they die, right? And it's. It's daytime, so they'll gain a life off of this, but I think because this will trigger first. <laughs> off you go. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure the way the triggers stack. Hopefully we get something we can play. Oh, all right. Hey, we got there, even without the combo. All right, this uh, seems okay. Turn three Jace to protect us and buy some time for the depopulate. I like it. Mono red. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. Good way to start. Hmm. Play Jace, take two. Oh. Alright, we're still gonna play Jace. Yep. <laughs> um two minus six die. Good game. It's mono red for you. Alright. <clears throat> Opponent's going first, but we have a mending on two. Can pitch our two red cards. I like it. I think it's worth us keeping. We'll see if they play a mountain or not. That's pretty much gonna decide be a big deciding factor in this hand. Mending just let us get there a little bit. <clears throat> so let's see if it actually does or not. Fingers crossed Arito. Opponent contemplating their turn one. Ah, they're mul Ooh, mulligan the five. All right, I understand. So you're saying we have a chance. 
Uh, let's go here. No reason not to. <clears throat> Selesnia, though, could be counters, could be enchantments. Either way, we're not feeling great. Never mind. You're feeling so much better now. Pitch these two. Sunfall allows us to clean the board nicely. Problem is, playing Mycosith means that they're going to... Alright, does this line up? Play our third land, this goes to two. Play our fourth land, this goes to three. Then we play our fifth and wipe. Okay, alright, it lines up for us. <clears throat> Spirited Companion, that works out. Replace the hand. Or replace in hand. English Jedi, English. May still need to draw a... Okay. I don't hate this. I do not hate this. Let's go here. And go here. It just get, lets us, like, now they may be incentivized to attack Jace. We lose Jace if they have a Machiko in hand. Or a Machiko's, um, they could discard it and pump. One, two, three, four. They do not. Okay, cool. Buys us a little bit of time. If they use a Oblivion Ring on the Jace, we're even happy about that. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. I like that. So now the question is, do we plus Jace or not, right? That is interesting. We plus Jace. They have to send everything at him to kill him. Kind of like that. We could play Modern Age. Let's... Play Modern Age. Perfect. Discard another Koth. Play a land. And then let's... Or is minusing here to draw more cards better? And yeah, maybe that's wrong. Because if they have an enchantment. <clears throat> but I think this is a decent spot. Land, and then last card is... Okay. Cool. I'll take it. So it worked out exactly how we wanted it to. Save this a ton of damage. We're going to get him back later. In time, all will witness Phyrexia's truth. Discard here. Go here. Clean the board, and then we get a creature back. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing from the opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go here and we'll just draw a card. We're not worried about firing this guy off just yet. Okay. I think we've stabilized. We get to pitch the Wandering Emperor if we want. Opponent's flooding out, unfortunately, which... I'll admit, I have rarely seen happen with this Selesnya deck. That's got to be a little frustrating for them. <sighs> a little frustrating. Just a little bit. I need a second red source. Let's go... Here... One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, seven. And hold. Now they're reading that, trying to figure out what's going on. I could see why they were holding on to that. Pretty potent. Can we get our second red? So let's minus, so let's see, plus go up to nine, 
play her, draw again, go up to 10. That's enough to take another turn. So I think we minus to protect ourselves. Play Sahili. And then we'll just plus her to draw. And that is not what we're looking for. Tap this, draw. Triggers. We're one mana shy though. And I think we want to hold the ossification. Right? I think holding the ossification here is correct. Yep, glad we did. Very glad we did. Because ossification killing Calyx is way more potent. We'll trade here. Uh, we actually don't have to. No blocks. Stay focused, Fairy. All right, so we're gonna draw again. I think that's the first order of business. So plus. Uh, that unfortunately does us no good now. But hey, we gotta see if Plan B works, right? All right, let's go <clears throat> here on this land. Eat the Calyx. And then... Go here. So long as I draw breath, Make a dude. Will never falter. And... Play land, draw. Now that is an interesting fact. And attack. Why can we... That's oh okay. I saw something light up and I was wondering. All right. Question is, do we fire off this faithful mending? Like we can't get any worse, right? All right. I'm sorry, opponent. Ugh. It's a little on the gross side. There we go. All right. Hey, we got there against the Lesnia. I'll take it. We would have been able to do some cool shenanigans, but they got rid of our graveyard. All right, not fantastic, but we have a turn two ossification. We need it and a turn three Jace. So we're going to keep it. We have some discard fodder. So I'm all right with this. <clears throat> Hold on to the auto aura just in case. Okay. So if it's mono black, we know they're going to have trespasser to just wreck our day. Hopefully we're in a position where we can play Jace and minus him. That would be nice. Okay bit of a discard list from the opponent so we played jace what does he come in as comes in that three so if we draw we all right so we'll just plus i guess not my favorite thing to do but if they play something to try to take out jace okay get rid of the ossification And there's our other land. Problem is we're forced if we want to keep drawing here to wipe the board. I'm not a big fan of that. But I also... Nah, I think it's correct. I think we bait them a little bit longer. I mean, I guess we could have minus an Ottawara, but I don't like that either. So let's see what they go to plus. Yep, no surprise there. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, let's... it's not my fault. That resolves. You won't be outsmarting me. Discard a land. Let's draw and then wipe the board, I guess. Another land. Pitch Modern Age. We do have to be careful with Lily and keep a card in hand. What I'm worried about is them blowing up half... Yeah, Trespasser. You knew it. Okay. 
Okay. Seems pretty good. I'm tired Seems of pretty secrets. good. Alright, we can't target that, so I guess we minus again. Retreat if we can improve upon your ideas. Alright, alright. So long as I One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. We need two more, and we don't have any of our spicy win cons. Right? So that's going to be a problem. Seems good. Block. I mean, there's. We could take the hit to plus to kill Lily, or we won't be able to kill Lily. You won't be outsmarting me. And Sunfall. Nice. That was a really good draw for us. Really good draw. We lose our other one. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. So they ultimate Lily. Let's see if they get greedy here, right? I think it was correct to plus after versus getting a 3-3. Three, three. Flashing before your very eyes. Okay, so I have actually recovered from this before. So let's see how they separate it. I'm gonna probably keep Elspeth. What's your ultimate again? Return all non line permit cards of Mad Value 3. Uh, yep. Oops. I always mess up. Uh, choose this one. Sacrifice. Can they draw? That makes sense. Oh, they could still. Huh. Interesting. Alright, block. And then what do we get back? It's non lands. So we get ossification and modern and ossification. Okay. So plus, and hold what we got. So let's see. Yeah, it's mana value three or less. Edict, sacrifice, planeswalker, sounds good. Uh, we weren't missing out on much because what we were going to get back was our creatures, or our creature removal, and they haven't played anything, so... Get in there. So let's see here. Guess we just wait on lands. It was risky. I do acknowledge that, right? Keeping our planeswalker. All right. We'll see what we draw, but I think that's going to be it. They did a pretty good job of negating it. Like, the discard wasn't too bad. But not being able to pressure Lily and now getting back there. Yep. Good game. Well played, opponent. Well played indeed. Alright, so this one's a little awkward. Because we can't really play anything. But we do have an Elspeth that gain us life and a depopulate. Let's keep this and hope that the depopulate get us there. It's going to be iffy, but I got some faith. Just go up a little bit. I've got some faith in the deck. Let's go here. That way, just in case we draw a... Um, well, black. Okay. Now the question is going to be if they're the low to the ground one or the go big one, right? You populate into some fall feels good. Would like to hit our land drops. They miss theirs? Okay, oh, blue black. Okay, gotcha. Nice. We'll just hang out. Gives them a good combo there, right? Because any mana they don't use, they could just dump it here. So, it works out well for them. 
Still no target for ossification. That would have been nice to bait out some uh, counter magic, but they'll just do what they do. Um, play Elspeth. I think I like that. Play Elspeth. They kill it. We got to get the counter spells out of their hand, right? And so I prefer that we do it early rather than later when we need to right because once again we're not capitalizing on them kind of time walking them because they have a threat on the board and they have a place to put their mana so it checks out hmm Alrighty, you got me i think this is going to resolve though since they have the gate they don't have the mana to draw a card with it so it's a one for one Okay. Once again, it's another turn where they don't get to level it. We're burning through their removal or their counter magic, so I'm okay with this. I like the list. Ah, okay. I won't let Kamigawa fail my fan. I know something you don't know. Seems good. Uh let's mending because I want to hit a land. We hit a land. We could play Jace and minus that. They still get to attack. Can also hear and get rid of that right now. We gotta discard two cards. It's a source of card advantage. Let's go with. Hmm. Let's go with Jace and and ossification. Let's go here and here. Maybe that's wrong. I'm not necessarily sure. Because we can't play all B1. That's a little frustrating. Can't say we didn't see that happening, right? All right, cool. Then I feel less bad now. Bet you can't catch us feel way less bad now that we actually have two targets so let's go here and now we have a threat to potentially ruin kaido to play to fairy start plussing <clears throat> would like to have a second red source to get our all will be one down okay now what do we have here so i think i think we're just gonna Play to fairy and plus. I think we're just gonna play to fairy and plus here. I think what they have is a removal spell. I'm finished running from battles. I might not. So let's just plus if they want to draw. We're okay with that. I am here to learn. Because here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. We we'll play our land. Hmm. This really stinks not having our re double red. So let's see. I mean, they get to draw a card off of Kaido regardless. The question is if they're going to go to Nick Teferi or... Because we know they have removal in hand, right? That's why there was a pause when we played Teferi. So the question is do they want to draw? And they do. So Teferi gets to live. Fair. I can respect that. They're at a healthy life total. They can beat us through card advantage, right? So <laughs> I dig no it. Secret I can't uncover. That's a problem. That is a problem. All right, well, we're going to draw again. Because we need removal here. Is that not going to do it. So if we go here, we won't have enough to. So I think. I think we have to go here. We take one, go to four. See if we have a board wipe. We do. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So time to pitch these two. 
Trigger, trigger, take two. And then let depopulate. And hopefully this resolves. I think it will. If it doesn't, then get on our opponent. Okay. One or two shoulders left, right? We can potentially pressure. Actually, this is going to be good. Because we can just brilliant here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man. So we need one more land to pop the restoration. And then we're... Let's see. Restoration will get us ossification. And all will be one. Oh, we have some options here. We have some options here. This is really tempting, actually. Okay. So, we actually have enough to do Sahili and Ossification. I want to kill that. That's dangerous. This we can kind of deal. So, let's... Oh, we can actually reset the board, too. I didn't think about that. Plus... Another mystery solved. Man, awkwardly. Okay. Play ossification first. Make sure we can get rid of the shadow. And then do we Sahili? Or do we fire off this guy? Right? And also Faithful Mending. I think I'm going to see Healy here. I think I'm going to see Healy. I'm a tough opponent. When well, minus. It'll be a thrilling fight. What? Like making and then pieces is hard. Attack this way. And it has to be Edict, but I think they would have Edict away our Teferi. Grass. Okay. Fair enough. This. Don't you so. Trying to help? If we fire off the brilliant, we can double all be one and an ossification. So I think I want to hold that. Celestis doesn't do anything. We're good there. We have this to gain some life. Uh, okay. So they're going to attack plus draw. It's close. It's real close. Now, what hmm. do we have here? Would like to fire this off to gain us a little bit of a buffer. Man, only if we could have played this a little bit sooner. Okay, well now I don't think we have a choice. We can bounce everything, right? All right, let's fire the first one off. And hopefully they don't have a counter spell. Okay, excellent. All right, excellent. Let's get the butcher. Because that can come back and we don't want that to come back. And boom. All right. We didn't get to do the thing, but I was feeling pretty good after that.